Great game here. Number 10, Oklahoma. Number 13, Baylor. Oh, my goodness. Jalen Hurts, huge Big 12 matchup. Top 10, top, top 15 teams in Waco. With Minnesota's loss to Iowa on Saturday, Baylor now one of the only undefeated team left. Late first quarter, Baylor up 7-3. Yeah, Charlie Brewer to Denzel Mims, Ran 30 yards. Ran out room. Ran out, run out of the stadium. <laughs> Just keep going. <laughs> Baylor up 14-3. Early second quarter. It. Brewer connects with Mims in the end zone. Okay. Second time in the half. Baylor up 28-3 in the second. BMAC, they were running away with this thing. It was ugly. 31 points in the half. Yeah, but you know what? Oklahoma's not going to roll over. Early third, they're down 31-10. Jalen Hurts. Oh, I tell you what, you talk about a big-time player. Hurts hooking it up with Austin Stogner. Oklahoma down 31-17. Next Oklahoma that drive. Hurts huh. up the middle, gets stripped before the ball crosses the goal line. Lynch falls on the loose ball in the end zone as well. Big-time play by Lynch. Yeah. Nine turnovers in the first six games of the season by Hertz. Three on Saturday. Two fumbles and an INT. Costly. Early fourth quarter. Not done. Hertz. Put a hurting on the Bears. Theo Weiss makes a couple men miss on his way to the end zone. Baylor defense. Oklahoma makes it a one possession game, 31 to 24. Momentum. 5.30 left in the game. Hertz to Braden Willis in the end zone. We're tied at 31, BMAC. Can you believe this? <laughs> I can't. We can't believe it. Next Oklahoma drive, tied at 31. Ooh. Hertz escaped the pressure. He's going to scramble well into field goal range. Under two minutes left to play. Gabe Burkic, 31-yard field goal. Oklahoma goes up 34 to 31. Wow. I think this was the largest comeback in school history. <laughs> Hurts would, he wouldn't even watch. Burkett remains perfect on the season. 34 seconds left. Last chance for Baylor. Brewer gets picked off. Oklahoma completes the comeback. They win it 34 to 31. Mm. It's the largest comeback in Oklahoma history. Yes, sir. Oklahoma becomes the first team in the college football playoff era to beat a CFP ranked team in the regular season after trailing by 25 or more points yep. for that teams were 0 and 162. You talk about making adjustments and not making adjustments. Baylor did not score one point in the second half. They went into halftime what 31 to 10 and did not score nothing in the second half. Horrible. All right, BMAC, listen. Talk about Jalen Hurts, uh, you know, this kid. I mean, listen, and especially with Tua out now, he's got to be really, you know, right up there, one of the top uh, Heisman candidates still. Well, yeah, I think you can throw his name in the conversation. We know exactly who is the front runner. Joe Burrow. No question for that <laughs> award. I mean, he continued to add on to his numbers tonight against Ole Miss through a few interceptions, but that didn't hurt him as far as an individual. But I like to talk about – Jalen Hurts and the fight that this kid has. Mm -hmm. In the first half, they tagged him. They were so physical when tackling him. Uh, they were hitting him hard. I mean, he was running for his life. It felt like this was going to be a big-time blowout in favor of Baylor. But Jalen Hurts showing that he's the ultimate bellwether for that ball club, rallied the troops around him, and he led this team. In the second half, he was unstoppable. And then the defense, they started to make timely plays. He finished this ball game with four touchdowns, roughly under 300 yards, mm -hmm. on the road against a very, very good, well-coached ball club. This win right here, if they can find a way to play better defense, I don't know what is going on with Oklahoma's defense. Over the last two weeks, outside of this ball game, they're having issues getting stops and having issues in the red zone. And we saw the same issues surface again today against Baylor. But because the offense got things going, and then eventually the defense started to play with more energy, they were able to come out on top. This was a huge win, and now seeing exactly what is going around mm -hmm. in college football with the injury to Tua Tonga-Vailoa, right? I don't know if the committee will look at Alabama the same knowing that Mac Jones will now be the quarterback going forward. Mm -hmm. Let's see exactly how high Oklahoma climbs in the poll 
looking at the team they played against, undefeated Baylor Bears, that was ranked with number 13 mm -hmm. in the country. Yes, Oklahoma number 10, but seeing exactly how they were able to prevail and win this ball game was impressive. Mm -hmm. And let's see what happens on Tuesday. Yeah, we're going to find out where they're going to be in those rankings when we talk to Jerry Palm on the other side. We'll